Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally making the time to film some YouTube videos today. So today's video is going to be a flip through of my Velvet Sand personal rings. I put up a poll on YouTube. I was honestly surprised by the results. I feel like if I put this on Instagram, a different result would have happened. So I basically put up a poll asking what video you guys wanted to see first. I'm gonna film all of them, but I was just curious what people wanted to see first. Um, Velvet Sand setup, a video about fountain pens, which is my newest adventure, or a video about journal pouches and totes. Um, and Velvet Sand flip one by a lot. I honestly feel like my YouTube audience primarily enjoys planning content, which would obviously make sense because my channel's always been a planner channel. But if you follow me on Instagram, Instagram, I post daily on stories. And that's like a real up to date of like the evolution of my creative journey. Like every new path I go down, like when I went down the journaling path and then the traveler's company path, now the fountain pen path, like it's all well documented day to day on my Instagram stories. Um, so I, and I feel like a lot of the people I follow, at least on Instagram, or kind of the people that I interact with on a daily basis, tend to, like, kind of are in the same, like, like a lot of people are loving Traveler's Company right now, a lot of people are loving fountain pens right now. So I feel like if I posted that poll on Instagram, either fountain pen, I feel like fountain pens would have won on Instagram. But I asked my YouTube audience, and therefore, we are going to do my Velvet Sand Flip. So this is going to be a little bit of a chatty video. Um because I do feel like I have a bit to explain. First of all, I've been keeping my rings in this pink, light pink Delphonics pouch. I really, really love it. It just kind of sits on the side of my desk. It doesn't have really anything in the pockets besides this notepad from Papery Planning, which I really love. I have a code with her shop. It's Amanda10. I do earn a commission. Um, I pretty much primarily use her stickers at this point when it comes to planner stickers. I, If I'm leaving the house, I will pack this pouch with other things, but as of right now, it you know, because I'm at home and I keep like my supplies like in their place, in their drawers, it just pretty much sits on the side and holds my rings. And I like that because it protects it, especially because it's velvet sand. Um, I also want to talk a little bit at the end of the flip about my 2023 planner plan, essentially, which spoiler alert, much like previous years, it is not changing. I'm not really someone that gets new plan or like gets a new planner and tries something new when a new year happens. I'm more someone that tries something new whenever I feel like trying something new. Um, and so if, if whatever I'm using is working for me as a new year comes, I'm just going to stick with that. So that's what I'm doing now. As far as my rings go, it's it's quite the interesting situation, but nothing has really changed. Um, I do still use my rings. Uh, I still use them every day. However, you might know if you watch my videos or you follow me on Instagram, I ended up getting a Hobonichi Weeks, I guess. Oh my God, I can't believe the year's almost over. I think I got this in like maybe February or March of this year. And I started using it um, for my weeklies and it's been working incredibly well. I pretty much keep this open on my desk um, just constantly. And this is just what I use to reference for appointments, tasks, like it is a workhorse. This keeps my life together. It sits open, I reference it, and that is how I don't forget things. And that's how I get everything done. Um, I also, was doing dailies in the back of here for a while, which I do really like. I haven't done any daily pages recently, to be honest, but it's just kind of because I'm just, I'm scribbling on notepads and I'm referencing my weekly. I'm going through a really busy time in life. Um, that's kind of another reason I really just wanted to make time to film these videos. I am moving next week from Maryland to Texas and I'm not going to have, um, my parents live in Texas, so I'm moving to be closer to them. And I'm not going to have a desk set up or access to most of my supplies, honestly, for like two weeks. So I was like, while my desk is still set up, let me go ahead and film some videos. So anyways, this is basically the way that my system works right now. My Hobonichi Weeks, which by the way, I fill out the monthlies, but I don't ever reference them. Like I don't. So um, my Hobonichi Weeks is for weeklies and dailies. But let's just say weekly since I'm not even using dailies right now. My Hobonichi Weeks is for weeklies. My rings is still everything else. Um, before I got my Hobo Weeks, everything was in rings. This was my one single main planner. So I had my monthlies, my bills, my pre-planning, my trackers, my weeklies, my dailies. The rings is still the exact same. 
I've just taken the weeklies from here and put it into my hobo weeks. So now I use the two together. This is for everything. This is for weeklies. So it's very simple and it's been working for me. I really like it. I don't think that it's really maybe necessary to have two planners. Like I could just put the weeklies back in here, but I honestly like this system. And quite frankly, I'm enjoying the functionality of the hobo week so much. And with the fact that I've kind of like my interest in the planner hobby and like the decorating and like all that stuff, the interest in that has kind of died down for now as I get more involved in my journaling hobby and my creative, you know, collage journaling hobby. I have not, I don't really play with my rings anymore. I don't make dashboards. I don't do any of that anymore. Um, which is sad. I don't know. Maybe it'll come back around one day, but right now journaling is just where my focus is. And so I'm really enjoying the simplicity of the weeks. Like it's so simple. It's literally just pen only and maybe like a little bit of deco. It's exactly what I need to keep my life together. And I'm just, if I spend less time on planning, I will always plan. I will always need to plan and need to have somewhere to like write stuff down. But if I spend less time on like all the fun frilly stuff of planning, I can spend more time on the fun frilly journaling, which is kind of where my interest lies right now. Um, so that's what's going on. The last thing I will say, honestly, if I could get everything in this book, I would probably do that, which is really sad to say because I have been in rings consistently for like six years. If I could get my pre-planning, my bills, my tracker, if I could get all that in this one book, I would do it. Um, people have suggested printing out the inserts and pasting them into the, into the notes pages of the weeks. I don't know. The thing is, the reason why I don't want to do that is because I really like the inserts that I have in here. The inserts work amazing for me and they have for years. And I don't really feel like taking the extra time to draw out a tracker or draw out like a bills thing. And so, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, printing them and pasting them in the back of here is an option as well. But I already own the files for personal rings. I'd have to print either way, right? So I wouldn't be able to eliminate printing from my life. So it's like, honestly, might as well just keep it in rings. Now, if you follow me, you also know that I oftentimes, well, when I was like heavy into planning, what I would do is every couple months I would move into a new cover and I would also, you know, change up the deco. The inserts, the system, that would always stay the same, but I would uh, switch into a new cover, change up the deco to kind of match the theme. And that was like my fun thing. I'm not really doing that anymore. I'm not going to say that I'll never do it again, but I will say that I was in my Janet Leather Brown, loved that setup, by the way, love JL Brown. And, you know, after I was in that for a few months, I decided to go back to Velvet Sand. And so I switched up the deco. I kind of had a new vibe going and I haven't switched it since then. So it's been a while. I've been in this for a while. I haven't ever filmed this though, which is why I wanted to film it. Even though it is going to be similar to my previous setups and the fact that the inserts are all the same. But I, even though that was always the case, I still like to film brand new setup videos every time I would move into a new rings cover because the deco was different and deco might not matter to some people but deco was always a really fun thing for me so I like to film each setup documenting that and that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now um so here is the front it's kind of funny I feel like I haven't talked about planning stuff in so long that I'm like I hope I even remember shop names because it's been so long since I've done like a planner flip um so I just have some little cards in the pocket I think these are from Salty22, which is a shop that I really love. Just some stickers, an appointment, sticky note from cloth and paper. Um, this, you guys have probably seen this before. It's a clear card that I got customized um, from a site called Basic Invite. And then this September card is from Sterling Inc. I absolutely love Sterling Inc. I buy her monthly collections every month and use them, and they are amazing. So I just have an Ollie clip clipped onto my flyleaf. Oh, by the way. This planner is Velvet Sand from Vanderspeck. I do get all my planners customized to take in the width and remove the pen loop because I always liked the way everything sat, you know, like I like how the tabs come closer to the edge. Um, I own two personals like this, JL Brown and Velvet Sand, and I also own quite a few pockets that are obviously different size, but kind of customized in the same way. I've got Undyed Stardust and Velvet Sand in pocket, and I do have setups for everything I just mentioned on my channel if you want to browse. Um, so clip to the flyleaf, this is just a 
from Soli Paper, um, sticky notes from Paper Test Designs. I have a code with Paper Test Designs. It's Amanda20. I feel really bad because like I, I haven't been promoting her nearly as much recently just because my focus isn't on this, but I still use her inserts every day of my life. Paper Test Designs is like a staple in my planner life. Um, so this is just a vellum from Sterling Ink, just the September vellum. As you can see, I do I do keep up with this in the sense that I fill out the inserts and I switch out the monthly things. Um, I just haven't been playing with deco. This is a clear dashboard from Cat Espresso Co. And I actually kind of meshed my two hobbies here. I just did this little collage with some of my favorite like journaling stamps and pet tapes and whatever. So I put that in the pocket. Um, this, where's that from? Oh my gosh. Oh, Planner Fluent. This little butterfly card is from Planner Fluent. Um, this is just a piece of deco from like AliExpress. I love butterflies if you can't tell. Um, just stuck a little piece of Traveler's Company washi there. This is an inbox dashboard from Cloth and Paper. I've always really loved their, their glass inbox dashboards. Um, sticky note from Paper Test Designs. As you can see, this is just deco, honestly. I made this PM routine thing with my label maker. Just fun deco. So, you guys might be mad at this, but a lot of the deco for this velvet sand, I made myself and I printed myself. Um, I got images, various places on the internet. There's like Unsplash and stuff. Um, so this was just some gorgeous butterflies. I would love that tattooed on like the back of my arm or something. But these are some butterflies that I printed on vellum. Just makes a really pretty dashboard. Um, this is just a quote dashboard. Again, I made this and I printed them back to back. I just really loved the vibe of the deco in this planner. <laughs> um, my dividers are from Shop Gracie Edits. They're clear with white text. Uh, so behind the inbox tab, as usual, I just have these cloth and paper inbox inserts that I never use, but I like them so much that I keep them in there. Um, this is a three card holder that I also made myself with acetate and sticky pockets. This was just a deco card that a friend gave me. This Trust the Process double-sided card is from Papery Planning, and then I have another one of those customized cards from Basic Invite. Um, this etched dashboard, I cannot remember the shop name. Oh my gosh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. She is such a sweetheart too. If I can remember it, I will link it in the description box below, but it is so pretty. Oh, I love this. It's like etched glass dashboard. Um, this B one is from Cloth and Paper. That's another thing I'm really behind on is just Cloth and Paper releases. It's funny because I unsubscribed from their boxes because for a while I was not vibing with them. I did not like them at all, but I've actually seen some glimpses of their recent boxes and I feel like they're making cute stuff again. <laughs> there is some cute stuff in there. Um, it's funny, I thought about going to their website and like checking out, maybe placing an order for some of their like recent stuff because it looked really cute, but then I was just like, it's cute, but like I'm going to put it in my planner and then I'm barely going to do anything with it because I just know where I'm at right now and journaling is the focus. Um, these were some sticky notes. I cannot remember the shop name again, but I printed them myself. They were printable sticky notes. Paper Test Designs. Um, this is a freebie. Oh, maybe that's who that's from. Luna Lou's Plans makes freebies. Um, that might be where that sticky note's from. But this was a freebie from her that I printed on vellum. Super pretty. And then the dashboard beneath is also from her that I just printed. And I always print my dashboards double-sided because I don't like blank backs. So this, I think, I can't remember if this was a freebie or for purchase, but it's from Dove Note Co. So yeah, super pretty. I just love it. Um, my next tab is my monthly tab. And now we're getting past all the deco. I always love to put just like a bunch of pretty deco in the front before you get into the actual inserts. This is just a floral vellum from Sterling Ink. So as usual, if you're familiar with my setups, I use all paper test designs inserts for the most part. Um, her yearly bundle is my favorite and it is honestly a staple. Like that's the thing, even though I'm not into my rings or planning as like a creative thing, I, I need these inserts. I open this planner every single day. I do the bills, I check them off, I look at my pre-planning, I write things in my pre-planning, I fill out my tracker every single day. So I just flip past the deco and like go right to the inserts and do what I need to do. Um, but this is just a yearly overview. So I just kind of have birthdays for like my immediate family and stuff like that. Um, little monthly thing from cloth and paper. This is the future log and this is probably like my most must have insert. I love this. I like that you get the entire year 
Can you see? Oh God. I like that you get the entire year on only two pages. So it's very slim. It doesn't take up much space and it is just so necessary. This is where all my appointments go as soon as I make them. And then in the beginning of each month, I fill out my two page monthly and I just take the information from here and I put it on there. So there's the first half of the year. Here is the second half of the year. I just love this so much. Very, very helpful. Geez, July was a busy month. <laughs> um, this feel it. Oh, that's a freebie from Ivy Mill Inc. I love her freebies. This 2022 dashboard is from Noted, which is based in Australia, but their stuff is so pretty. I've got another Sterling Ink Vellum. And then my monthlies are from Noted. I ended up buying, at the beginning of the year, I bought the full yearly pack. So that was just one less thing that I had to print because I print most of my inserts. So this is just obviously a month on two page. I usually put my work phone shifts and then the appointments, which I get from looking at my pre-planned section. I fill that out in the beginning of each month and I usually just keep two months in of these at a time, but I don't even fill them out until before the month starts. Um, so there's that. I've got a little top tab from cloth and paper. This is for my bills, sterling ink vellum. This is a paper test designs. Um, it's like a month on four page kind of insert. I don't typically write anything here, but the way that I use this, um, so you've got a calendar, important reminders. This is where I put all my bills. So this is just where, you know, reference bills, pay them, check them off, all that. This little section here I make for happy mail so I can kind of monitor the packages that I am getting. So that's that, that's another super important insert. This letters vellum um, is from EO Edits. EO Edits is, this was a printable, so I printed it myself, but EO Edits is another shop that I absolutely adore. This I made on Canva, like the like image, and like the little doves, like that was just Canva stuff that I found. So I just made that dashboard and printed it. Um, and I printed this on the back, again, made in Canva. It's just kind of like a vision board. Like this little film effect is from Canva. Like they just have a lot of cool things that you, that you can play around with. This daily, weekly, and monthly planner like routine I made again on Canva, printed on acetate. This has been in every setup because I love it. I've got a cloth and paper vellum. Another Cat Espresso Co. thing. This has like four square pockets. So I like putting little square planner cards in there. I made these two on Canva. Um, that's from Ivy Mill Inc. And then I think that might be from Luna Luz. Yeah, it is. It's Luna Luz. I just saw her little LLP in the corner. So yeah, I really like that. Super pretty. Um, this is a weekly little half dashboard from Cloth and Paper. So the next section is my weekly, which used to be in use. It is no longer in use. Um, this is Paper Test Design sticky note, Cloth and Paper sticky note. I do still use this, although I did stop for September. I usually, I have Instagram, spent money, got mail, and journal. So I've been doing this. I switch out the sticky note every month. I always keep up with it. But I did stop for September. Um, just because it's it's a crazy month. I'm packing up everything. I'm getting ready to move to another state. My actual insert tracker is so necessary because that's how I keep track of like medication and stuff. But this one wasn't as necessary, so I just stopped filling it out. But typically I do. Um, just have this little dashboard here. This clip I actually made with um, Angela when I visited California in the little planner event that I went to. So that's super cute. I really like this clip. Um, so this is just like an inbox insert again, not currently using it. Inbox inserts. This was my today tab. Um, Maria plans, uh, paper test designs, paper test designs, cloth and paper, just sticky notes. I love to stick sticky notes everywhere. This is a sterling ink vellum. And then I'll flip through my weeklies. These are paper test designs, but these are old. Like, like I said, I haven't done a weekly in here in forever. Um, oh my God. What is this? Mom yay plans. That's what that is from. Uh, whose are these? Planner Room Shop. That's Planner Room Shop. I printed these, but I actually never even got a chance to try them because then I ended up like moving fully to the Hobo Weeks. Um, this was an insert. Oh, by Paper Test Designs. That's right. I think this was her collab with Elle. I was, I was fully using the Weeks at this point, but I really wanted to try it. So I, I did a, like a week in here. I really liked those inserts. I do miss ring inserts, like ring weeklies and dailies. I totally miss them. I mean, my, I still wanted to like use them, but I just, I don't know, like life got busy and the Weeks just became like a really easy kind of thing. So I did like little, I put little pet tape images on there. 
this is from Freckles Tea. It's so pretty. Vellum from Cloth and Paper, and the card behind it is Cloth and Paper. This, that's also Cloth and Paper. Um, and then the planner routine is EO Edits. And this is another Cat's Brusso Co. dashboard. Smiley Face Vellum, that is an image from Canva. I just made and printed. This is a dashboard from Soli Paper. I really love that. Another little card thing. I made that. That one's from Planner Press. A lot of this deco is old. Um, I think that might be one. No, I, I think I made that one. Yeah, I made that one. And then cloth and paper. A lot of this deco is old just because like, you know, I set this up forever ago. I just hadn't filmed it yet. Um, so none of it, none of the deco in here is like new releases or anything. Um, so this is another cloth and paper thing. This was my tab separating weekly from daily. These dailies are paper test designs. Love them. I absolutely love these. I don't know if I ever showed these on my channel. I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I did because that was February. So that was a while ago. But I loved these two page dailies. See, that's the thing. Like, I miss doing weeklies and dailies and rings. But it's just like, I would do that and kind of bounce around when planning was like my only fun thing. But now I just love journaling so much more. And I mean, like I work full time, life is busy. If I have free time, I'm gonna spend it on journaling at this point, not taking the extra time to do planner stuff, which is really sad. But that's just where my interest is right now. Um, this is another daily from Planner Room Shop that I printed and never got a chance to use. And then I just have all sorts of extra dailies back here. So this dashboard I made myself again on Canva. The little frame effect is like a, uh, like an effect that you can get on Canva made myself. The skull one I made myself. This is an image from Canva as well, just printed on vellum. Um, this is a paper test designs insert that comes in the yearly bundle that I always used for memories. I basically just write three memories, three of like the top memories for the month, which I don't know. It's just, I like looking back on it. It's really fun. Um, so this is another Cat Espresso Co. dashboard, and I just, I made these on Canva, and I printed them on acetate, and I just cut them down. So it's just like morning mind, daily reminders, just cute little things to be honest like I don't I never really referenced that stuff but I feel like it was just cute you know it's just pretty and like there's literally nothing wrong with adding shit to your planner just because it's pretty that's what makes you want to use it that's what makes it fun you know um this oh plain chic designs that's who that etched dashboard was from plain chic designs that's who the etched dashboard was from I hope the lighting's okay it's kind of cloudy I don't really like to use my ring light anymore because I just feel like it's way too harsh and bright I prefer natural light, but there's not much natural light today, so unfortunately we're working with my lamp light. But I did replace the bulb, so it's a lot brighter than my old lamp light. Um, this is Luna Lou's Plans. That was probably a freebie dashboard. Uh, I don't know where that one's from, but it might have been Luna Lou's. I love it, though. I love the design. EO Edits that I printed on vellum. Um, and then my last section, which the only thing I really use out of here currently is my tracker. But my list section hasn't changed. I just had video ideas for YouTube that I wanted to film. Those sticky notes are paper test designs. Um, books, which I ran out of space. I have so many. I'm subscribed to Book of the Month, so I love books, and I love Book of the Month. Um, this edited wardrobe is from EO Edits, and again, like a lot of this stuff was in my previous flips. It's probably in my Jail Brown flip and all of that. Um, I had a little wish list tracker, and then just my VDS wish list collection, just different notes and little inserts, tattoo lists, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is a vellum from EO Edits, dashboard from Cloth and Paper. I think this LV vellum I got from Salty22. And then my tracker, which is my favorite. So these trackers are paper test designs. And this was September. This was when I switched from pocket rings to personal rings. So I have trackers for an entire year prior to September of last year. And now it's been a full year of being in personal. So I've got a full year of personal trackers now. I've been tracking like this apparently for two years as the dates have shown. Um, and it's just really helpful to my life. Like, yes, it's satisfying to look at, um, but I feel like I can't live without this. It's funny because in moving, things are just going to be really hectic for a while, and I, I was like, honestly, I might just take this insert out of my rings and just kind of like carry this separately um, because I, I need this. If I don't have this, I will forget to take medication. It's, it's just how it is. Like every time I've traveled and I haven't like had my tracker, I've forgotten. So I don't know. 
I, I just think I don't want to carry like my big bulky rings with me. So I might just like pull this insert out and stick it in my hobo weeks just while I'm traveling just or not traveling. Sorry, just while I'm moving like until I get settled and everything. Um, this purpose dashboard is from cloth and paper and this is cloth and paper as well. And we're nearing the end. Um, note section. I always just kept like scrap paper here. Oh, that was like just a list I made about, you know, future setups. I've got this from EO Edits. This is just the same stuff that's always here. And then just like some scrap paper. Um, I love this little moon card. It's from, oh my God, I wish I could remember the shop. I can't remember her name, but she's got a big Instagram shop. What is it called? I don't know. I don't know, but she sells like vinyl stickers and stuff. Um, some transparent dot stickers back here. And totally just bent this. Oh my gosh. That is it. I... I feel like, I don't know. I hope that wasn't too boring. I hope anyone watching this got some, got something out of it. To be honest, I, I want to apologize because I can even, I can even feel in myself that I'm not as enthusiastic about this because this just isn't where my current interests lie. I mean, in our creative journeys, things change and things evolve and I can feel that I'm not as enthusiastic as this. I know I went through it kind of fast. I do hope that anyone kind of using ring planners could get some inspiration from this. I know it was, it's very similar to all my previous setups. So there's not a lot of like newness going on in here. Um, and yeah, so I just feel bad about that. But for 2023, um, or I was going to say, but I put up a poll and you guys wanted to see the Velvet Sand setup. And this exact setup has not been filmed. Like with this deco and everything, it hasn't been filmed. So I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, so for 2023, funny enough, I swore up and down that I was not going to buy another Hobo Weeks. And the reason why kind of goes along with what I was just saying. The Hobo Weeks is obviously dated. When, I, when planning was my main hobby, I hated dated planners because planning was my hobby. I like to switch around. I mean, you saw like three different weeklies in here. One week I would use this weekly. Then the next week I would use this weekly and I would switch back and forth. Um, I would play with bound books as well, but I would always get undated bound books. And that was just so I could switch seamlessly between whatever I wanted and not have any wasted pages because wasted pages drives me nuts. And also when I have a dated book, I feel like I have to do every page. I'm just somebody, I cannot skip a page. I just can't. So I really preferred undated to have that freedom. Um, and I, and for 2023, I did not plan on buying a Hobo Weeks. I, I thought to myself, you know, I want to be able to use my undated ring inserts again. Um, I got like the Planner Monkey Co. Hobo Week sized plain grid notebook. Like that was a big plan of mine because I was like, ooh, I can do dailies and different things on the plain grid, but I don't have to deal with the hassle of like a dated book. So I had all those, all those plans, but that was kind of when I still was investing a lot of hobby creativity into planning. Now that I'm not doing that anymore, at least for right now, now that like journaling and my traveler's notebooks is my main thing, this Hobo Weeks really has been so amazing for me in terms of functionality. So because of that, I decided to go ahead and buy a 2023 Hobo Nichi Weeks and just keep on keeping on with what I'm doing right now, which is main planner, out on my desk every day. It's small, it's portable, it's functional. The layout's great for me. I'm going to keep doing that and then everything else is in my rings. So I reference my pre-planning, I reference my tracker, my bills, um, whoops, totally just bumped the tripod. So that's my plan. I'm going to keep it the same. Everything I just explained is not going to change. So I ended up buying a 2023 weeks in the color milk tea, which I just realized I totally had put a clear cover on it which like I almost want to take it off because I mean not that you guys could feel it because you can't feel it through the screen but it is so pretty I'm trying to get this cover off oh my god it is so pretty the milk tea is gorgeous it's such a cool material like it's so soft it's almost like foamy it almost feels foamy and it's just this beautiful like kind of rustic or like a warm brown, I guess. It's kind of like a warm brown color. Now, a lot of people had concerns with the milk tea not laying flat. And what I did, like, was I pretty much just bent it. 
and then after I bent it, it laid a lot flatter. Um, oh, and this is the English version, by the way. They came out with the English version. Um, after I bent it, it did lay a lot flatter. I'm not really worried about it. I mean, if I need to use clips, I can. But, like, this one didn't lay flat either at first, and I had to train it. Mine also stays open all day every day. So, I think with it staying open all day every day, I think eventually it'll probably get worn in and lay flat and be totally fine. I mean, if you're somebody that keeps yours closed a lot, then I don't think it'll ever fully train. Because if it's, like, always back and forth, I think it'll kind of bounce back to, like, closed status. But because mine... But because I keep mine open on my desk all day, every day, I really do think that eventually I will be able to train it. But we'll see. It was laying a lot better when I didn't have a clear cover on it, too. But I also feel like I usually put things in the pockets. Maybe that'll weigh it down. I don't know. We'll see. I am going to start using this in December. And I am really, really excited to start a brand new one. And I just, I like the color. So that's my plan. I've got my rings. I've got my Hobo Weeks. The only other thing that I have in terms of planner that you guys have seen is my Kinbor. But I don't really talk about this when I talk about like planner because this isn't a planner. This is just a memory keeper. Um, I got this Kinbor from AliExpress and I do still use it. I'm totally obsessed with it. The last week I did was, I guess, the beginning of September. And when I get October Sterling Ink Collection, I will do another page. I love this Kinbor. It's a great planner. Um, you can get it from AliExpress, like I said, if you're interested. But because I already, and it's undated, which I love, but because I already have, like I don't, I don't need multiple planners. I mean, I had my rings and now I have my rings in my weeks, but like it's still, still the same stuff. Like to me, it's like one planner because it's like the same stuff. So I bought this Kinbor and I basically just use it for memory keeping. Like this is just a fun thing for me to do. And I am still very much enjoying this. I usually bounce back and forth between doing a memory keeper in here and in my traveler's notebook because I have the vertical traveler's company insert and I like that as well. So yeah, this is undated. So I will continue to use this even when the new year starts. I will continue to use this until I've finished the entire book. And I love it. Um, I do have a couple other things. Like I, like I said, I have the Planner Monkey Co. Um, I have the Planner Monkey Co. Hobo Weeks size grid notebook. I even have a Kinbor Weeks dupe, which is the size of a Weeks. Um, I would love to use that one day because I love the Kinbor paper, but for now the Hobo Weeks is, is working great. So anyways, that's enough blabbing. I hope all that made sense. I hope you enjoyed this video at least a little bit. <laughs> I hope it gave you any inspiration, um, but fair warning, my future videos will probably start to kind of lean more journaling. I mean, I'm not saying that I'll never talk about planners again because I will never stop planning. Um, but as of right now, I've just got a really chill planner life going on where it's just my weeks, week after week, dailies and weeklies, you know, everything in my TMs is just for fun, journaling, and that's kind of where my passion is really lying right now. So if you subscribed initially for the kind of like, I don't want to say minimal. People always get mad when I say minimal, but I don't mean it in literal minimal. I just mean the minimal aesthetic. <laughs> I think that's what I should start saying. I'm not talking, I'm not, I am nowhere near an actual minimalist. I just mean the minimal aesthetic. If you subscribed for that type of planner content, I truly apologize. Um, but I've been in this community for six years and my style has changed so many times. I went from pastel explosion to neutrals, you know, went from planning to journaling our creative hobbies evolve I feel like our interests evolve even trends evolve like you know when we were all in foxy fix traveler's notebooks like you guys remember like the shops that were popular at that time and what everyone wanted and what everyone loved and things just evolve I think personally and also as a community so I do apologize but I can promise that I'll never stop planning it's just that I don't really have many planner videos to film at the moment because my routine is so basic and it remains unchanged every week but maybe i'll do maybe before i switch into my 2023 weeks I'll, i will do a complete flip through of this week's i think that'll be really fun um so yeah that's enough blabbing thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye